Growth, Legacy and Command. And like most other Greeks of that time, who lived in or around city-states, the inhabitants of Epirus lived in small villages and their way of life was foreign to that of the polis of southern Greece. Their region lay on the periphery of the Greek world and was far from peaceful. For many centuries, it remained a frontier area contested with the Illyrian peoples to the north. However, Epirus had the far greater religious significance that might have been expected given its geographical remoteness. Due to the presence of the shrine and oracle at Dodona, regarded as the second only to the more famous oracle at Delphi. Situated on the Adriatic Sea, Epirus is a Greek kingdom formed of numerous small villages and towns rather than the great cities of the south. An agriculture and fishing based society, Epirus nevertheless maintains a balanced army on the Alexandrian model consisting of cavalry, archers, peltas, pikemen and war elephants. They also make extensive use of mercenaries from throughout the Greek-speaking world. With an economy focused on a diverse and scattered agricultural base, most of Epirus trade is conducted via its fishing ports on the Adriatic Sea. This also provides the basis for its fleets and a means for its dignitaries to travel abroad. Ruled by the Molossian Isidae dynasty, the kings of Epirus claimed descent from Achilles and Deidamia, with close connections to Macedon. Through the marriage of the princess Olympias to Philip II, Epirus prospered under the empire of their son Alexander the Great. During the wars of successors, 322-275 BC, the Epirus throne was reclaimed through the political maneuvering of King Pyrrhus with the military backing of Ptolemaic Egypt. In 281 BC, again with Egyptian support, Pyrrhus entered into conflict with Rome to aid the Greek colony of Tarentum. Although a master tactician, his Pyrrhic victories have already become synonymous with success at devastating cost. Epirus is a nation of great commanders and, as such, its generals and admirals enjoy a greater command aura in battle. As a nation centered more around village life than the city, Epirus also gains increased income from smaller settlements. However, their checkward past with the Greek states and colonies means they suffer major penalties to diplomatic relations with other Hellenic factions. Epirus now faces many choices. Across the Adriatic Sea is Rome, to the east Macedon and to the south Sparta. Will they be potential allies or enemies to conquer? Guys, thank you again for watching one of my videos and make sure to subscribe for more updates. Well, I wish you have a great day.